Let me ask you this, uh, in the wake of that, not to belabor the point, I mean, you, you took a lot of darts, people writing to the public pulse, people saying that Trev Alberts doesn't care about UNO, Trev Alberts is a Husker, Trev Alberts just wants to go down the I-80 and succeed Tom Osborne. What did you think about all of that, and, 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 and what was your reaction then as opposed to now? Well, the good news is, um, you know, one of the things that the good Lord has allowed me to do is I, I can get really focused in on things and, and sort of just keep my eye on the end goal. And, and in those difficult times, whether it was this or in the past, um, you know, I, I, I just sort of narrow my focus into the end game. And so I, I knew that the, the facts would, would point to reality. And, and I, um, I had never had any conversations with Tom Osborne. I, I, uh, I in my heart was trying to do what I could to save the athletic department, not only keep an athletic department, but create a relevant dynamic athletic department that would, would ultimately lead to something like this someday. And um, so I heard it, um, and, um, but I, I understood the emotion. And frankly, I would put myself in other people's position and I would have been equally as frustrated or angry as they were. So um, wasn't offended in any way, sorry. That's a drill. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned brand. I, I see the O on your, your lapel. Uh, and I noticed in the, uh, in, in your bio on, on, the, on the website that there is talk of brand. And as we sit here today, all of your sports are now Division I. Uh, made that leap uh, just a few months ago, every single one of them. How proud are you of that? How proud are you of the fact that all the sports are now Division I accredited? and that, that the brand, um, even when we hear hockey being called on the radio, we hear basketball, you know, they don't say UNO as much, they say Omaha, mm -hmm. Omaha. You know, I watched the, the Frozen Four last year, it was Omaha versus uh, Providence, it was Omaha uh, in, in the previous round uh, versus two rounds prior to that versus Harvard. Yep. It was Omaha, Omaha. Your thoughts on, on, on the brand, comment on that. Well, brand is so important, you know, and I think it's part of, um, contributing to the university and elevating the profile, but the greatest thing that we have to offer is that we reside in Omaha, Nebraska. You take Omaha uh, away from us and we're not, we're not half the university we are today. So it was made very clear to me way back in 2009, we played an exhibition men's basketball game against Michigan State. We had a student athlete who was half brother in Draymond Green. So Tom Izzo was kind enough to pay for us to fly out and play an exhibition. And we went there and the secretary, who wasn't trying to be mean in any way, said, Uno? What's Uno? And so the, the effort at Omaha was not to not be called UNO. We certainly understand that everybody locally knows who UNO is, and, and so we don't. But when we have an opportunity with our hockey program or men's basketball now, we're on regional television. We do that. We're intentional about that. We're trying to help grow enrollment, so we're playing larger b brands in on regional television. We get to the Frozen Four. We, we want people to know who we are and where we're from. We're proud to be from Omaha. So that's really what it was about. And so when you think about Nebraska, they, put, they don't put UNL on their football uniforms, they put Nebraska, because they represent the national brand of the state of Nebraska. We feel like it's our job as a metropolitan institution to represent the local regional brand of UNO. And we're honored to get to do that. Last two, um, what does the future hold for you? Is this, is this the job that you're set in at this point and that's, that's what you're focused on? Or is there a broader vision for you? Um, you know what? I absolutely love it here. Um, you know, I understand the typical movements throughout intercollegiate athletics. You know, you, you have to bounce around. That's just not who we are. We, we came back to Nebraska, my wife and I, and wanted to get back to the Midwest. And we have three children who, and we've really enjoyed this community. So we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, the chancellor asked me to work with him on phase two, which is the other side of the creek. We want to bring the rest of our programs home. We see the impact that this has made for the rest of our programs. So. You know, baseball and softball and track and some we we want to create a home for those student athletes and and uh, so I'm I'm honored to get to work on that and uh, we, we love being at UNO. Last question: uh, tough start for the Huskers, two and four. Uh, by the time this airs, who knows what their record will be? Uh, does it hurt at all to see them lose in such heartbreaking fashion? And and as a as a, a tried and true Husker, what has been your reaction? Yeah, it, it does, you know, and, and uh, I know they're going through a tough stretch there, and, and I don't have all the details of, of all their challenges. I just know that, you know, when I was a student athlete there, we, it was such a wonderful experience. I, my objective would only be I, I want those student athletes to have that type of experience, and, and winning is part of it. We didn't win every game, 
but there was a culture of care, and I, and I think that's still there. I, I, you know, anytime you go through a coaching transition, it's significant. And the thing that's discouraging in a way is that, you know, I would look at other programs, um, you know, like Notre Dame or Oklahoma, and a legendary coach would retire or move on, and every one of those institutions went through this coach and this coach, and before you know it, every four years there's a new coach, mm -hmm. you know? And you know, I don't think that the average person knows the extent of um, the disruption when there's a new staff that comes in. And um, so um, my thoughts are always with the student athletes, and, and I want them to win every game. Uh, obviously, it's not the start that they want. Anything you'd like to add that I didn't touch on that, that you'd like to us, us to get out there? Um, Come to our hockey games. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, we're, I don't. I don't have anything in particular. Okay, good.